Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? I came across this while I was browsing bounding into comics.com and uh, I wasn't intending on that, uh, on really reporting anything Batman related, but uh, I found this and uh, this is apparently an alleged rumor. So take it with as much salt as you need to. Rumor, WB Games Montreal is releasing a reboot of Batman Arkham series. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Arkham series. I thought it was absolutely, just absolutely great. It's not flawless by any means or any stretch of the imagination, but I don't really care about that. The fact that we get uh, the the old school uh, dude who played Batman, Kevin Conroy, uh, to reprise his role in this game already has me a hook, line, and sinker. So let's go ahead and just get into this article because I think they're pretty much going to be doing sort of the same thing uh, with a lot of the same voice actors and stuff like that. But this seems to be uh, maybe a soft reboot. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get into the article and we'll find out, shall we? The new Batman game allegedly coming from Warner Brothers Games Montreal is said to be a reboot of the franchise. The Geeks Worldwide reports gamers are in for a quote-unquote soft reboot of the Batman Arkham set for release in the fall and takes place in a new continuity. Really awesome. Okay, I can get in I can get into that. Writers writer James Siegfried says that the development will come as a shock to some who were hoping to see a continuation. One was planned but never got off the ground. Which is kind of a shame, but then again, the last game in the Arkham series, it looked really flashy, it looked really cool, but it wasn't really the uh, the, the best, uh, mechanically speaking. And the, the storyline was kind of okay, it was a little hit or miss. And, uh, you know, when it comes to Batman, storyline and uh, uh, the battle mechanics are sort of like the, the A and B, the peanut butter and the jelly. The bread is whatever you want it to to fit into this metaphor i don't really care but anyway let's go ahead and get into it a sequel with batman's son slash clone damian wayne in the cape and cowl was considered and is even slated for an announcement at the game awards in 2016. Dun, 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 dun. the game made it into the design stage some of the level and character designs such as poison ivy and a new black mask uh leaked online which we have absolutely nothing going on here. Oh, God, no, 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 y you get away from me, Enterprise. God, just get the hell away from me. There were more, de there were more ideas, but quote-unquote management ships put a stop to them and a quote-unquote fresh start away from the Arkhamverse was decided upon, which is, I think, okay, but, you know, it's, it's the Arkham series, so you want to get into Arkham because Arkham Asylum is where... Batman's rogues gallery is generally at anyway because Batman kicks their asses and freaking sends their asses back to Arkham so of course they would be there where they would be other than Arkham City well, well then again you know I just sort of answered my question if you ever pl uh, if you ever played the uh, the Arkham series you pretty much know exactly what I'm talking about so blah 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 shut up Mo. This is from James Sigfield. This is his tweet. Are we taking a brand new fighting and traversal system unlike what we are used to? If you have any details like that, of course, I guess he was being asked what those details were. And this is what he had to say. Those things will remain, but the story and plot itself will be in a new continuity. Quote unquote, soft reboot seems like the best way to put it. Cool, cool, cool. Full details remain tightly under wraps, but Sigfield confirms an expanded Bat family is playable and the Court of Owls will be among the villains. Yes! That's going to be so freaking awesome. Like, dude, the Court of Owls has not been represented at all. And they're like one of my favorite little uh, secret society. Like, in, if you ever watch the show Gotham, they're they're heavily, heavily into in there. And I, I love those are some of my favorite episodes, favorite arcs, too. It makes sense that after months of teases bearing various logos hinting at the court, the League of Shadows, and the Gotham Police Department. And here's a nice little uh, screenshot of what is allegedly to be in the game. That looks really, really nice there. You know, you could tell a, a Batman game is going to look really good when they have a really sweet looking bat signal uh, in their screenshot. I think anyway, that's just me. 
that all started on Batman Day in September, where bat, where bat signals were projected against the side of buildings all over the world. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, so this is pretty much, uh, well, I don't know exactly what this is. What is this? Oh, this is some of the art that WB Games Montreal has uh, put out on the internet. Let's go ahead and check that out. There's no audio, so, uh, and I'm not 100% what these logos are, but it's pretty sweet. So far, they looked really well designed, so I'm looking forward to this big time. Titled either Batman Arkham Legacy or Capture the Night, the game will kickstart a new DC game universe that Sigfield says will be semi-cohesive. I don't know exactly what that means, but... Other DC games are rumored to be in the works, including an unrevealed one by original Batman Arkhamverse developer Rocksteady and a next-gen Superman game for the brand new Xbox system. Nice, nice, nice. Are you looking forward to, the so to a new soft reboot of the Arkhamverse games or a next-gen DC universe game in game form? Leave a comment. Yeah, well, we're not going to be doing that. But that's that's really freaking awesome. I'm actually very, very jazzed to hear about that. Uh, the fact that we're going to get the League of Shadows, which was not really expanded upon in the Arkham Asylum game and the Arkham games. But then again, there's only you can't really do a whole lot with the League uh, based exclusively in Arkham Asylum or in Arkham City, for that matter. Or not even with the Court of Owls, because they're too expansive you know you you've got to like stretch your proverbial wings out or your bat wings so to speak uh so you can really get the the depth of those two groups you know it's uh it would be a shame to just have rachel ghoul or uh the uh, a member of the court of owls to just have like one or two of them uh in there fighting for space and time in between poison ivy joker and scarecrow and stuff so anyway i'm looking forward to this i really hope that this uh this soft reboot happens uh i hope we get more nightwing gameplay i hope we get more catwoman gameplay that dlc in uh, arkham city was really really cool i really like that uh i i hope we get damian wayne and of course all the bat family in there and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to where they're going to be going with this so uh fingers crossed and uh, i hope they do uh, just a bang up job like they did with the arkham series so anyway if you like the vid go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel that helps me out immensely and i'll just keep pumping out freaking semi-daily contents as long as there's demand for it because i'll get bored if you don't sub to me dear witch so until next time ta-ta